and eventually you'll be able to build yourself something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ano 1800. I'm your mind to today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we gonna be building a palace. <laughs> no, ignore this thing. This is not the palace because I was experimenting. We're gonna be building a palace, ladies and gentlemen. Because last time, if you know, uh, we've started the new DLC. The Seat of Power, which is basically a mini DLC. Uh, it adds you the palace structure and a few new mechanics, uh, along with a new mechanic or difficulty thingy with the influence. So if you're wondering what exactly has happened and why the heck I have so much influence points, well then you have to watch the previous episode. Uh, but basically speaking, there's like a new difficulty thingy that you can adjust when you when you play. So this is Crownfall. If you know from the previous episodes, Crownfall basically was the city that I was building. Uh, this was basically the main source of my income and the main source of my influence points. Now, keep in mind that even though that the city is standing, the amount of resources I'm providing for my investors is slim to none. It's very little, so we have to fix that thing eventually. But to fix that thing, I want to actually implement the new palace system. Uh, I want to squeeze as much resources as humanly possible from this entire thing. But that will require that we have to do some things over here, then we have to build some things on a different island and so on and so forth. So it's gonna take a few days at least. It's gonna take a few episodes, that's for sure. So uh, if you're wondering, if you have not watched the previous episodes, uh, I finished the construction in the old world, right? So this is my current capital, you can say so, uh, outside of course Crown Falls. Basically this was the experimental city, this was the city that I experimented on, I've tried to do the layouts, I've tried to use the trade unions, uh, I've tried to mix together both the industrial buildings and the housing buildings and so on and so forth. Uh, this is basically the thing that also one of the viewers have requested that he wants to, well he wants me to try it uh, to make basically like a mix of those two. So it's a bit difficult. Because, as I said, I'm trying to put in use also the trade the unions, right? So, for, just to give you like an idea, if you'll be doing uh, just the power plants without the trade union buildings, then you can just freely build like, you know, factories within the housing blocks like you have over here, right? So you have uh, the brick makers over here and you have the sewing machine factory over here. As you can see, this thing is literally melted into a little housing block that I have over here. And all of those people have, if I remember correctly, all of their needs fulfilled. Well, expect for the ROM, obvious reasons. But most of their needs are basically filled, right? Uh, and I'm talking about the services. So, yeah, I'm trying to do this thing on a bigger scale right now. And I'm not exactly sure where this thing work. Uh, I've built this thing, right? We've tried to do the decorating thingies as well. So basically this is the results as you can see, uh, it's more of like a open city, so it's not so clustered together, it's more like an open thing, uh, you know, a lot of space have been wasted here, but then again, this city was supposed to look nice, it was not supposed to be efficient in any possible way, right, so this is basically just, just a city around, uh, the only thing they are producing over here is schnapps, which is, let's be honest over here, useless for... Uh, uh, for a bigger scale, it's useful at the very beginning, but later on it's it's completely useless. So what I'm planning to do over here, ladies and gentlemen, now you need to understand that how the palace works. If you have not watched the previous episodes, basically this is the new building, the palace, you can only build one. And not per island, you can only build one, one on your profile, which means that if you're gonna build this thing here, for example, then you cannot build it on any other islands. Instead of that, you can build yourself something called the local department. This is supposed to act as a palace, satellite or whatever thing. Uh, but the thing is, the difference is that the palace has five different tabs and all of five of those tabs are working on this one specific city. Uh, while the departments have only one tab uh, available and active. So for example, as you can see over here, I've built myself a local department, I've tried to experiment a little tiny bit and as you see, this local department is set only for uh, labor, right? So it's for the trade unions and I cannot build another one over here because I'm limited for one per island. So yeah, and that's another thing. As you can see, uh, in order for this thing to work, you need to pull with, you need to build within the range of the local department a trade union, right? A trade union, depending on which uh, department you're gonna pick, right? If you're gonna pick this department, then you need to have town halls within your range. If you're gonna pick this thing, then you need to have the public mornings. Uh, this thing goes for the trade unions. This thing goes for public buildings. And this thing goes for the harbor offices. So this is basically gonna be a factory city that's gonna be supplying Crown Falls and therefore this one is gonna focus on the trade unions. Now 
I was trying to do this thing off screen. I was trying to experiment with the with the with the layouts, the but I I'm not quite happy with this thing because as you see, there's the trade union which is surrounded with with the factories, right? So for example, we got the glass makers over here because we're gonna need a lot of glass, and uh, I mean I'm meeting the requirements over here because this is the amount of uh, glass makers I'm gonna need. I'm probably gonna need a lot more at some point. But you get the idea, right? And I, I'm not really happy with this, with this, with this result. So now the thing is, either we could try to uh, spread this thing a little bit more, or we could try to build another glassmaker block like this. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna roll with this thing yet, because you know, as I said, it all depends. And now the problem is that I need to have a lot of glass, so. Those dust makers need to have both access to a trade union and they need to have access to a power plant. So this is something I have to work on. But there is a thing, because as you see, the range of the local department thing is not that big. And apparently in order to increase the range of this thing, you need to use the palace itself. What does that mean? That means that if you're gonna build uh, additional sections of the palace, then the range will increase. So uh, as you see over here, if I'm gonna build this palace wing you got yourself here, bleed. then the range of the palace is gonna increase by two, and the range of all of my local departments is gonna increase by one. Okay, so right now I got like built two wings over here, and uh, what is this? Okay, there it is. I built myself two wings. I can build at the moment, if I remember correctly, 54 wings. Uh, of course, you can later on build more, but I can build 54 wings. Okay. Each wing will add one tile, to my understanding, one tile of range to, to the range of the local department. So I've marked where the range ends, it's over here, okay? And I want to try to expand the palace and see how much this thing is gonna expand. I'm really hoping that I would be able to cover maybe 70 or maybe 60% of the island. It would be actually really cool if I would make like this gigantic circle over here to those mountains. Because that will allow me to actually, you know, make some crazy builds over here. Maybe I will actually be able to make this thing as a city center that is surrounded by the actual city. And somewhere within the city, within those housing blocks, I'll be able to build those trade unions uh, as well. I got a, a lot of influence points, so we can try to go a little bit crazy. Now, I've took the easy difficulty for the influence points. Only because I wanted to go a little bit more crazy with this thing. But first things first, we have to make some room over here. So sadly, I have to move the botanical garden. It can no longer stand over here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this, but well, we have to move this. Uh, okay, lost the attractiveness. Okay, let me fix this thing really quick. There we go. Okay, you reach at new levels of attractiveness. There we go. That thing is back in order. Now. I've also made, uh, I've set the palace to give me one more reward from the world fair, so let's see what exactly we're gonna get. Okay. Right, so those are the rewards we normally get, and we get... Okay, that's nice. Right, so we got really, we got three up some rewards and one, I would say decent, but those one are really nice. We can actually use this thing for something cool. Right, thank you game. Okay, but also you have to get moved as well, so uh, I'm gonna probably try to move you at the end of the road. So, I'll probably build you over here, but then again, there comes the problem, because I want to have the world fair, I like, I want to have it a, like a lot of decoration around, around it. So probably I have to move this block a little tiny bit, I have to probably modernize it a little tiny bit. But yeah, I want to make the world fair somewhere within the center of my city. Probably behind the palace, next to the mountains. I don't think I want to build it in front of it. But building it, let's say over here, I think would be actually really nice. So, temporarily we're gonna build you somewhere over here. I'm just gonna move you, like such. Later on we're gonna, of course, uh, try to adjust it. The biggest problem is all of those decorations I have made. It pains me a lot to destroy this, but this is the thing, sadly, we have to do. I'm so sorry, game! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Say what you want, but destroying this entire garden was a real pain for my heart. <laughs> oh, okay, right, so we got this thing over here. And probably I'm gonna increase the pass range to this thing over here as well. I'm just not exactly sure how we're gonna do this thing. Hmm, well, I could try to increase the palace to this thing as well. 
I just have to move some of those things around, I guess. Yeah, okay, that, that kind of should work. Alright, we're gonna move all of you out of range. Like this. Alright, beautiful. Right, this is more or less going according to plan, I guess. Uh, now the road. Actually, remove this thing first. Remove the railroad track. There you go. Okay. Right, so now we can begin the construction of the actual palace. I'm gonna delete this thing as well, temporarily. Okay. So this is gonna be the palace. The palace is gonna be probably sta- Dink. Oh, I cannot build you. Seriously? <laughs> God damn it. Now, we can actually go really crazy with the palace itself. We could try to do some crazy constructions over here. The problem is... Uh, the problem are the resources. And also, the problem are... Uh, how we want to decorate this thing. Do we want to make it unique or do we want to make it like everybody else? Because, as we all know... Your imagin imagination is the only limit. If you know how to do certain things, then you can actually create something really crazy. So we got the palace. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch this thing a little tiny bit. Oh, I cannot swap you. Really, I have to do this thing? Okay, well, this is quite nice. Uh, I want to have corner. No, gate. No. Wink. There you go. Okay, so that's one over there. The same goes for this thing. So it's a thing... Okay, this one could work. Right! Okay, pa pass construction finished, boys! Wrap it up! But no, in all reality, this is the space I want to use. So, if I'm gonna build the palace in the middle... Oh, this actually fits really nicely. No, it doesn't fit nicely. Shit! It's one tile too, too big. Crap! Don't tell me I won't fuck up with my adjustments right now. Because I'm gonna. that's gonna be a pain in ass to fix. Ah, shit! It's one tile too big. It's one bloody tile too big. Okay, I need to remove those fucking cables, they're annoying me. Where, where the heck is the power plant? There we are. Oh, no! No, 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 no. One tile too much. Son of a bitch. So the idea here was that... The main avenue is attached to this thing. Same old holiday gang as last time. It looks like I have to switch the docks. That's not good. That's really not good. Why Ubisoft? Why have you done that? It was going so nice. It was going so nice. Apparently this is gonna be the side harbor from now on. And this is gonna have to be the main harbor. Is that actually a good idea? It's a lot more space over here though. Shit, how I can do this thing without wrecking the entirety I have worked for so so hard? See, it's perfect. It's perfectly adjust over here. It's it's a, it's a it's a perfect weight. Oh No, so that means I have to increase the size of the road from uh, more or less over here somewhere Right, so those two things have to be demolished now. I don't think I want to Increase the size of the road to the right side. So I have to increase the size of the road to the left side So it has to go somewhere over here more or less like this. Okay, so this is gonna be the crystal road. Right, so that means later on we have to modify this section of the city as well. Uh shit. Well, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of rebuilding, that's for sure. But okay, those are the things I have to adjust. Oh <laughs> my main dog, no! I'm not really sure moving this thing on this side is such a good idea, you know? Because this is the biggest harbor I have. Oh man, it works so good with the stupid ass word fair. Ah crap, why the heck you added range to this thing, Ubisoft? <laughs> God damn it. I really hope this plus is gonna be worth it, man. <laughs> I really hope it's gonna be worth it. Right, okay, so those things have been moved. So this is gonna be the main road from now on. I will have to, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna move, uh, do all of the movements in this episode, I'm gonna probably leave this thing for like later on, uh, when I'm gonna have some time, you know? But yeah, that's gonna require a lot of adjustment here and there. Oh uh, well, okay, well we're gonna see. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of rebuilding, that's for sure. Okay, so, to my understanding, this should now be really adjust the proper way. If I'm gonna build this thing here, my hands now. and this is the road, yeah, there you go. Two tiles here, two tiles here. Lovely. Okay, now I wonder how the, exactly the gate looks like. 
it's free. Okay, we can work with this thing. So the plan that I have is I want to build the, the palace. So uh, I need, I mean, the palace wings. So we're gonna have increased range of the uh, departments, and then I'm gonna move all of this industry out of here, and we're gonna actually start to build the investors blocks over here. So the idea is that I'm gonna move the investors blocks from here. Right? To that side. So this side will be clear and I'll be able to adjust it and modify this thing and so on and so forth. Also, I want to give those people electricity. However, I will have to probably do something like, as I did over here to the power plant. As you can see, the power plant over here is built in a specific way. That means that it has roads over here and here and it's technically not connecting the road in uh, from any other side. So, if I will get the mod to remove those stupid ass cables, then I'm gonna connect it and allow my people to get some electricity. If I won't get that thing, then I'm just gonna disconnect it and say, screw it, I don't want fucking gas cables going across my city, it looks super ugly and I don't really, really care. I know this is history accurate, actually this thing should be a lot taller and have a lot more cables, so Ubisoft still have decided that, you know, for a penny for, for, for visual effects they have to make it a bit more modern, but in reality this was a lot more fucked up, like this was a lot taller and it had more than just like how many cables we have over here, four? One, two, three, four, yeah, maybe five. Five cables, right? When in reality, by the time when they have actually started to use electricity, there was like around, I don't know, 30 cables or something like that, so yeah. Comparing it to the reality, it looks a lot better, but still looks really ugly in the game. I'm over the fence a lot of time a bit to, to the inside, so this should be a bit more adjust. Right, okay. So what are the other things we should try to do? Oh wait, I also didn't adjust this thing here, didn't I? So it's four tiles and three tiles, yeah. Okay, the fences are more or less adjusted. This is the, I will have to move the investors blocks later on, but yeah, this is not the thing I'm gonna focus on right now. Okay, so we got that. Now... Let's see what we could try to build within the palace. Because that's another thing. You know what? We could try to go a little bit crazy even. And even try to build a mini museum. Or even better, a mini botanical garden. Because who's gonna stop us? Nobody, that's for sure. So if I manage to squeeze this thing somewhere here. I could actually build don't within... We'll yeah, whatever, shut up. Our patience is running I don't thin. care! So basically what I want to do is I want to surround that thing with the palace buildings and I kinda hope it's gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna look weird, but <laughs> screw it, I'm gonna have my own personal little museum and nobody's gonna stop me. Uh, okay, should go more or less over here. Yeah, that's actually perfect, okay, good. Now, I want you to make an uh, intersection over here, like this, and this thing should... Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so you're gonna go now from here. Beautiful. Okay, and let's make a gate over here. Actually, I could try to make even two gates. Why stop at one when you can have two gates? It's This is a really fancy tool that you can just adjust uh, what type of a wing you want in your, in your, in your palace, you know? Okay, I've missed it. There we go, alright. And let's try to build one more. <laughs> and let's also set a little garden over here in the middle, not this thing. I have it and I made a mistake. There we go. Beautiful! <laughs> I've actually built myself a mini museum. <laughs> Didn't my palace grounds? Oh, this is just... this is just too great. Alright, so we got this thing. Uh, how much palace pieces I have used already? 56. Ooh, okay. I'm starting to think that this palace is gonna take a lot less space than I have expected. Okay, maybe if you think about it, this, this was not such a good idea. <laughs> but it's an interesting concept though. We could also try to build something like this. I wouldn't worry. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> that was worth time, it. We could try to build something like this, and I can still try to squeeze uh, like a little museum and a little botanical garden within the palace grounds, right? I basically run out of uh, palace elements to build anything else. So in order to get more, I have to get, uh, I need to get more people. So yeah, that means I have to actually build the city. But eventually I want to also try to expand this palace a little bit over here. I just hope I will have enough parts. But yeah, that's, that's something I would like to do. That, that's something I think actually would look really, really bloody cool. So I need to build all of this thing now. Oh, one by one apparently. Okay, I can roll with this. 
we're gonna get so much attractiveness after this thing is gonna get built. Holy shit, I just cannot wait to see the range of the palace, how, how exactly it's gonna in uh, work on my on my on my city right now. Come on, but nothing. Okay, and a lot of bloody ass building materials. Good thing I've brought some from the other map. So unload all of this thing. Thank you. And also you. Unload all of this. Okay, probably I have to send you for some more very soon anyway. Right, let's keep building. Oh fuck! Why I cannot build you? Not build you. Oh, missing. Wait, what? Oh, come on, fucking steel beams. As I am waiting for the materials to arrive. Yes, yes, I know. As I am waiting for the materials to arrive, uh, I also got myself a little mini building pack, I guess. And we get a bunch of like new decorations as well. And I'm really happy with those because they have the concrete base. As you know, I've complained it like in the previous episodes because if you're gonna take a closer look at this thing, right? I'm gonna like go over to the open space over here. If you're gonna pay, take a closer look at this, you, you see that the base of this thing is actually grass, right? Around this thing. And most of the cool ass decorations that we had in Aino had the grass base. And with those things, as you can see, it's like those little, really cool tiles. So you can build those point. decorations richly in the middle of your city, right? So it's gonna work really well with the investors and with the engineer uh, residences. And this is this was exactly the thing I was looking for. Look, a fucking ass fountain with tiles on its base. Yes, that's exactly the thing I was looking for because, like over here, I got fountains, but they have to be be built within the trees, within the parks, because they have the grass background instead of like having the tile background. Uh, background, not the background, the base, the base of the bloody ass decorations. So yeah, like if you're gonna go to the old world and go I over here. Right? To the city that I was trying to decorate, as you can see. Oh, see? See? You only had the one that had the base of the with the grass. You didn't have the one with the tiles, like you have over here, for example. So now you can actually go really crazy with building decorations within the middle of the city. You can have actually something really, really, really cool. Previous time you were very limited, but now... <laughs> oh, man. And the palace structure has been finished. Yeah, boy, <laughs> 54 parts. Okay, so let's see how the range of the palace now works. I uh, also have to probably make the road. Oh, yes, I'm not gonna leave this thing inside so empty. I'm gonna obviously try to build something cool over there. So let's try to do this. Okay, then we're gonna connect this thing here. Like such. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking cool as palace, man. Okay, eventually later on I want to, you know, make something crazy as, as well inside. And outside, like I want to probably build maybe more parks, maybe more walls. I don't know what I'm gonna try to build over here. We will see. For now, let's try to connect this entire thing. Like such. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And also this road has to extend over here. So it's gonna go like this. Bad and good sometimes appear to change places. Oh, okay. But all That's interesting. Be impulsive. This is the first time he actually giving me he's giving me a good quest. Alright, so let's see, see the range. The <laughs> it's reaching the entire island. Oh my god! So you wanna tell me? Yeah, it works. Increases visitors. Faces whenever I come here. Oh my god! <laughs> the range of this thing is so small on this side because it's not connected, right? So, because that's why I have made another entrance over here. So if you're gonna try to do this thing here... And... See now the results? <laughs> it goes all the way up here! Oh my god, this is huge! This is gonna be the best... This is actually really cool. Okay, so we got the range. Now let's see how my... Testing island has. Right, so the range was ending over here. Right, okay, uh, hold on a second. Let's remove this thing temporarily and extend it out just for the testing purposes. I know this is. Okay, you know what? Just to make it a full test, I'm gonna make it out of uh, cobblestone. Okay, so the range was ending over here, right? Of this, of this, of this building. <laughs> it's almost an entire island. It's almost an entire bloody ass island. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna make some really crazy builds with this thing, boy. <laughs> and with this thing now, we can actually start to 
make some decorations around with the palace grounds. Oh, hell yeah, boy. This is gonna be one cool ass. And of course, my standards, my banners, the banners of the syndicate. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. So, by that, I mean, we can actually try to make something super crazy. Like, tremendously crazy. Also, I could try to make a road maybe in the middle of this thing just to have more range of the palace grounds, right? So, one second, where's the. Ah, there they are. Okay. Uh, if I want to make. What is that? There it is. Ah, shit, it's 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 wrong background. Okay, hold on a second. I mean background. <laughs> it's not background, it's, it's the wrong, it's the wrong uh, base. Okay, that's the base I was looking for. So... Hmm, well, actually, it's not gonna look that cool. It's not gonna look that cool, boy. Unless we're gonna try to do something different. If I'm gonna try to... do Your something like this... Ugly. On both sides, okay, and then we're gonna try to do this and this, okay, and then make the road something like that. <laughs> and eventually, you'll be able to build yourself something like this. <laughs> now, this is one beautiful, bloody ass palace, man. And I really want to get more wings. I can actually extend this thing a little bit more. But yeah, this is basically the thing I'm aiming for. And it looks awesome. It looks really, really bloody cool. I wonder can I go into the first person camera? Oh! Well, it's not the... F I forgot which was the hotkeys for that thing, but... You get the idea over here. Sweet! <laughs> Beautiful! This is a postcard for you, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> now, the only thing, only thing I need to do is fix up the back, fix up this thing, and of course move all of the apartments. One tile down. I have to move everything manually. One tile down. Fuck. <laughs> Why did I thought that was a good idea in the first place? I don't know, man. I honestly have no damn idea. So, as I was saying, the plan for now is that I'm gonna try to develop this thing, this monstrosity. Uh, because now we have a huge range over here, so we can try to go a little bit more crazy with this thing. Uh, so that means... Yeah, okay, that's great. So that means basically that uh, I'm gonna build an actual city over here, right? With the engineers and stuff like that. And then, of course, surrounding it, there are gonna be uh, the trade union buildings. And we're gonna try to somehow maybe turn this thing into, as I said, a mix, mix of both the... Uh, production layouts and uh, housing. Basically, there's gonna be like a lot of housing blocks. Because as you can see, I've tried to do something like this, but yeah, with the bigger range, this actually is... This is gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna be a lot, a lot easier and look a lot, a lot better. Now, the thing is, th this is like a side note thingy, because I got so much money, right? I don't really care about money at this point, but I got those small islands over here, and I was wondering how I can actually use this thing. Uh, to get sick. If you're gonna build a local department thingy, you can change it to work with the with the harbors, right? But also, you can check the politics and you can click this thing. Plus 300% productivity for all cost of production buildings. Which means, because I'm gonna need a lot of glasses, which means I'm gonna need a lot of sand. So basically the small islands over there are gonna be producing me shit loads of sand. They're gonna be basically my sand factories. It's gonna be a bit difficult, for example, to do it over here, but like here we got two. Uh, I think I'll be able to squeeze maybe one more, but I don't think I want to. Here we got another two, so that's nice. Here we got three buildings. Uh, I think I could try to squeeze like four over here. So I could try to do something like that. Also, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be doing here because this was just like a like an experimental tradition. island as well. But the main purpose of this one was to make me. Uh, grapes for the for the wine for the champagne so that's a thing uh, this one is gonna be making this one's gonna be making uh, red peppers and meat that's for sure I just have to uh, do the actual layers of here and make it more focused so we're gonna be making uh, from this thing the kind of food and obviously this entire thing will also change in the future maybe I could try to rotate the palace a little bit but I think this is actually the thing I'm aiming for right so we got like this luxurious 
big thingy in the front and then we have like this back this back entrance or whatever this thing is uh there's gonna be of course some parks we're gonna actually make like a later on like a gate if i'm gonna unlock myself yeah i know shut up if i'm gonna unlock myself more wings then i'm gonna make an actual gate over here but this this thing over here is basically the palace grounds right so this thing is gonna remain as it is i'm not gonna touch this thing uh but then comes the problem with the uh with the botanical garden Oh, there's a sickness over here. Okay, that's that's just great, I guess. What is the hospital? There you go. Okay, you guys have fun. So yeah, the botanical garden, which means I have to probably adjust this thing a little bit better because you know uh, there is quite a lot of sets I would like to have. And if I understand this thing correctly, when I was designing this thing for the first time, city is a magnet it should be able to host. Oh. We should look at that, that's nice. It should be able to host uh, the first page of the plants, right? So I should have enough of those thingies, those those slots for the plants to build all of this, to get all of those sets, right? Can you finally shut up? Jesus. But then again, I won't have enough uh, additional slots to build the plants from the, from the upcoming DLCs. So that's gonna be a problem, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna solve this problem. I'll probably have to pick which plants set will give me the best bonuses, and this will also have to apply for the museum and for the zoo. I'm guessing that the museum is... Yeah, okay, the museum is also gonna have a lot of things. It's probably the same goes for the zoo. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of animals. Oh well. <laughs> Well, that's gonna be the thing I'll have to worry in the future because I really want to have a lot of uh, attractiveness in the city, which means we have to get the zoo and the museum operational as well. But as I said, that's gonna be the thing for the future. Now we got the palace working. Uh, we can actually activate early coolest things around here, which means that, for example, my town halls now have four slots instead of having three slots. So. I could try to do some really interesting builds right now. Really, really interesting builds. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna try to do during the next episode because for now, I'm running out of video time. So I'll just leave this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. For the next episode, please, a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.